Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install OpenShell Start Is Back, the Aero 10 Vaporance theme, and the console login hook that brings back the Windows 7 login screen for Windows 10. So I have links pulled up here for OpenShell. Start Is Back. The classic, classic shell or aka open shell, um, Windows 7 skin, Vapor and Steam for Aero, Aero 10, the GitHub page for console login hook and its instructions we'll be following, and we'll also need Win Aero Tweaker for the trusted installer. So I've already downloaded all of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, and I've already installed. Um, Arrow 10. So to do that, you go to local to C, Windows, Resources, Themes, and you just drop Arrow 10 and Arrow dot theme into here. You drop the Arrow 10 themes into here, and that's all it is. And then you got to install Ultra UX Theme Patcher. Um, I'll link in this video in the video in the description on how to install Ultra UX Theme Patcher from another person who is a trusted member of the community. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to install start is back first and we're going to run it as administrator. Install for everyone. We're going to hit browse and then we're going to create a custom directory for this. And we're going to hit new folder and we're going to type in start is back plus plus and we're going to install that in here and go ahead and click on install it's going to take a minute to install give it a minute to pop up then go ahead and click on configure status back now now you can just simply be done by selecting these buttons here hit apply and you're done you can be done at that if this is all you want um, but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to get a closer Windows 7 resemblance. So what you want to do now is you want to click on the Windows 10 start menu, but make sure the Windows 7 taskbar is still selected. Click on the Windows 7 start orb and hit apply. Hit OK. Now we got the Windows 10 start menu. Now run OpenShell 4.4.191 as administrator. Go ahead and click on next. I accept. Next. Go ahead and click on browse. And we want to go to File Explorer, this PC, local disk C, Windows 10 basic programs. If you've been following along with my channel for some time now, you've been noticing that we're follow making a Windows 10 basic version. So we're going to go ahead and click on open shell. And we're going to copy the folder path. And paste this into here and hit OK. Disable Classic Explorer and disable Open Shell Update. Uncheck Create a Start Menu Folder. Hit Next and then Install. Go ahead and click on Finish. Give it a minute for the Start Menu to pop up. If it doesn't, you can click on Start and then go to this PC. Look at this C. And you can go to where you installed Open Shell. And go to Start Menu Settings and select the Windows 7 Lite Combo Rev C, and then you can choose User Sides. Um, now it doesn't look like this, so we're going to play around with it. it picture inside, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, wear a picture frame, let's see what that does. I don't see a difference. Then we can go ahead and click on OK. Before we click on OK, we need to go to Control Panel and we need to select Use Category Views. And then we also need to go to Customize Start Menu. I like to enable the downloads as a link. And then I remove Settings and I'd say Don't Display This Item and hit OK. So I right click over here, rename to Computer. It should rename. As you can see, it has changed over. 
Now, last thing we need to do, second to last thing we need to do is go to local disk C, our Windows 10 basic programs, old new explorer, and we need to rerun old new explorer. And we just need to simply hit uninstall, and install, and close, and restart the file explorer system by signing off. Sign back in. And now it should be computer, as you can see here, computer. And now we're going to go ahead and go and grab uh, trust the trusted installer. So we need WinArrow Tweaker, WinArrow Tweaker.exe. And we're going to go ahead and go to trusted installer. So open up the release. What you need to do is you need to drag and drop the console login hook, UI and DLL into system 32. Go to the computer, local disk C, Windows, system 32. And before you do this, create a snapshot. It is very important to create a snapshot in your virtual machine. So we're going to name this before installing Windows 7 Logon Screen. All right, so now we got a snapshot before installing Windows 7 Logon Screen. So now go ahead and drag and drop these into here. Hit continue. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to the GitHub repository and we need to copy these keys and we need to go back to VMware and we need to go to here and we need to type in cmd.exe and run as trusted installer. Right click to paste those commands in and hit enter. It'll be completed successfully. Now what you need to do is you need to copy this directory, hit copy, paste this directory into here. Install hooks.reg, hit open that, run as trusted installer, hit yes, hit okay. Now you can close out. And now what we need to do is it says we need to take hold of windowslogon.ui.dll and we're gonna copy this. We're not selecting all. We're going to take this and rename it to .bak. So go ahead and paste this into here. Windows log UI logon.dll. Take ownership. Open file location. Hit rename and rename to .bak. Hit continue. And then you want to restart Windows. As you can see, the Windows 7 logon screen has already taken effect. It's going to restart the virtual machine. And the Windows 7 screen will take effect here. And as you can see, we have successfully installed Start is Back, Open Shell, and Call to the Logon Hub. So we're going to go ahead and click Log Off. 